In this video, we will cover module pool programming. So let us see the agenda for this session. First, we will see an overview of MPP and then we will see events and modularization in MPP. And at the last, we will cover screens, flow logics and modules. So what is exactly module pool programming? So a module pool is a collection of screens, flow logics, menu bars and ABAP codes. So basically it is a special type of programming which is used to create custom SAP screens. So module pool programming can be created in ABAP development with the T code SC80. So typically the transaction code that calls the application will refer to the module pool and initial screen number. Then we have some events in MPP that is PBO, PAI, POV and POH. So PBO means process before output. So this triggers before the MPP screen is displayed. And then there is PAI that is process after input which is triggered after the MPP screen is displayed and whenever user raises an input action. So suppose this is a flowchart here that is first the PBO is triggered then a screen is displayed and then user enters some in input then our PAI is triggered. Then we also have POV that is process on value request. It is triggered whenever the user clicks on F4 button that is the search help button. Then we have POS that is process on help. So it is triggered whenever the user is clicking F1 button. Then we have modularization in MPP that is the include program. So basically there are four include programs MPP name underscore and then top. So similarly O01, I01 and F01. So top is top include program, all the data declaration is done here and PBO include program that is all logic related to PBO events. And then we have PAI include programs, all logic related to PAI, PAI events. Then we have form include, all logic related to subroutines. Now let us see the screens in MPP. That is, it is a visible layout which is displayed in the output. The components of a screen are attributes, element list, flow logics and layout. Now let us see the, what is exactly the flow logic. So here we can see a tab here which is flow logic. Here our PO, PBO event is declared and the PAI event is also declared. So by default two events will be available with the corresponding modules. This is the modules here. This is a module and the name of the module is status 0100 and user command underscore 0100. So this is the PBO event and PAI event in flow logic. Now we have module. It is a sub program which contains the ABAP code for a screen. The flow logic cannot understand ABAP statements, so it understands only modules. So within the modules, we are declaring our ABAP statements. Since the ABAP logic is divided in the form of module, that why we are calling this as MPP, that is module pool programming. Now in the next video, let us see the steps to create a particular screen.